Hey guys, I figured I had a little bit of time during nap time today, so I thought I would film a planner update. And I'm filming outside, so I apologize if you happen to hear any vehicles going by because there's a road a few hundred yards away with some loud vehicles, but anyway. Um, I'm still using my regular with extra room and four straps Foxy Dory. And my pen of choice lately has been my, sorry the video is shaking, I'm not using my tripod today. My pen of choice lately has been my Pilot Vanishing Point fountain pen and I am really really loving this. It's really convenient to have a retractable fountain pen when you're fumbling around with one hand. Um, but anyway, I still have my top loading envelope with pictures of my family on either side. I have switched my calendar here to be the Midori undated month on two pages and I've got the free printable from Wenda Plans. These came with some scrapbook paper I have and I just really like them and I thought they were good to have as inspiration for the year. I have a free printable I found tipped in that's just again more inspiration and I'll try and link things below and then the ultimate list which I found on Pinterest it's got this kind of year at a glance looking thing which I think I'm gonna start marking bills in as well as mapping out travel dates um, you know, it's just basic month on two page spread and it's undated so you can write in whether you want Monday start or Sunday start. And basically, I had a little bit of a fountain pen incident there. Um, I write in my bills, people's birthdays, like my husband's, my best friend's, holidays, you know, when I'm buying things, when certain things arrived. So, and then I have May dated in by hand and I have since gotten date stamps that I need to start filling in these with. Um, the back half of my top loading pocket which again is more of my children. A uh, folder that I made that's just got some directions to a friend's house that I printed out, some note paper of wish list, music I want to download, a menu from a place that my friends took me and my stamp ink reference as well as some stickers. Uh, next is my Hobby Lane dashboard, which I will link her Etsy shop down below. That's just got some stickers on it and then my sticky notes on it. And then my insert for the Reset Girls Listers Got a List Challenge for April that I have the instruction sheet and like the little tips and tricks tipped in just because I thought, eh, why not? Um, the actual prompt sheet and then the first few days which I'm a day and a half behind because I have yet to finish yesterday's I still have a few more things to add before it's done and then I have to do today's and uh, archival ink does bleed in the Midori paper because this is a genuine Midori insert and then the back half of my dashboard from Hobby Lane and then this next one I made myself Sorry about that abrupt cutoff. One of my neighbors was walking by and talking kind of loudly on her cell phone, so. Um, but anyway, my next insert after the Blister's Got a List one is my actual planner. Um, this is a dashboard slash reusable cover that I made myself and my insert is not attached to the that was a uh, golf cart maintenance thing going by. I live on a golf course. Um, uh, the actual paper part is not attached to this dashboard at all, and I like to leave mine white on the inside just because that way I'm not covering up another pretty design because I, I don't know why I like to see the pretty paper. Um, but this insert is a hybrid of hurry up and plan stuff as well as free printable graph paper available on I forget the website but I'll link it down below um, but anyway I made a fold out month using one of the hurry up and plan calendars and again it's just a more it, it's the same thing as what's up front but this comes out every month which is why I write it down twice um, this is a 
magnetic bookmark I made myself using a Robin Lot tutorial and a Target dollar spot gift tag that I had. Um, what I've been doing is like my DIY fish that I was using had like a weekly planner and I kind of liked using that so I kind of just drew one on so I just have that there and I've been writing down what I eat for dinner each day because I'm usually what I eat for lunch the following day is whatever I had for dinner the previous day. Um, I made my own weekly checklist tracker thing and I'm using these basically the same way that I was using the DIY fish but what I've been doing like I, I like that they don't have lines better as much as lines are nice but you know I'm still marking my raids marking bills with little icons from my MFT stamps my favorite things um, Aria decided to steal a sticker off a sticky sheet and I let her put it down in my planner with a little bit of help so she didn't cover up the date but you know I'm still using stamps to make my own checklist and then writing out my top four things and then here's where I'm using the graph paper that I've been hybriding in is just again weekly planner type thing, outstanding orders, and my weekly to-do list of things that I would like to get done. And we're getting ready to move, so that's why that's crazy long. Um, but here's this week, you know, and then a blank completely not written in week. You know, I really like these inserts, but I wish they had already had a weekly tracker in there instead of notes, so I'm probably going to switch next month to one that already does of an undated printable just because I like having that there without having to put in the extra effort to put it there myself. And then, you know, I have the first half of my Midori brand zip pocket and that's just got all the stickers in it, most of which I made. Um, another dashboard that I made and my sticky notes keep falling off. Target sticky notes don't have the greatest adhesive. And then my notebook of stuff that's supposed to be for Phoenix. And that's just a perspective budget type thing of what I budgeted for those various expenses. You know, rent, internet, TV, water, power, phones, etc. Um, and then it's just blank grid that I printed myself on multicolored paper and then the back half of that dashboard, and then the back half of my zipper pocket, which again is more stickers, some list paper, and then some cute schedule seals that I was using to track my coffee intake, but I've gotten better about not needing a cup every day. So yeah, and then I stuck Staples pen loops right to the leather because I'm not worried about it messing up my leather. So, but yeah, that is that. Thank you, and uh, I should be back hopefully before I move with an update on switching out what notebook I'm keeping these in. I've got something really, really great coming from uh, Jonal herself of Jonelli, of Jonelli Fish on Etsy, and I'm really excited about that. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.